and we're literally comparing ourselves and competing with people that don't even know us. And we are taking on, you know, negative beliefs, you know, challenges, issues, and problems of other people. And we're adopting them and making it our reality. And then we are falsifying things in our head and making our situation worse than what it really is. Welcome to the Living Her Truth podcast, where we have honest conversations about what it means to live a purpose-driven life. I am your host, Lakeisha Wooder from LakeishaWooder.com, the place where women receive the tools necessary to feel seen, heard, and supported while pursuing their purpose. And now every week, you'll learn those same tools through candid and transparent conversations. Hey family, thank you so much for taking our time to watch my podcast episode. I'm Lakeisha Woodard, your host, and as always, I'm 100% invested in your self-awareness journey. As you may know, I'm a self-awareness coach who helps women pivot from perfection to purpose by creating an action plan that reconnects them to their dreams, their values, and their priorities. What you may not know is that the tools I teach you here on a podcast I share how I implement them in my daily practice on social media. If you're not following me on your favorite social media platform, I encourage you to do so. You can find me at Lakeisha Wooder across all platforms. In the meantime, as this year winds down, I want us to have some one-on-one time together. We're going to have conversations about mindset, clear vision, rebuild the confidence, and vision boards to prepare for 2021 by revisiting conversations I've had on my social media platforms. I know you're probably over 2020, but we still need to make every minute, every hour, every day count until the new year. That means we need to prep. And yes, we have less than 30 days left, but it's never too late to get started. So with that being said, please make sure to leave a comment so we can start and continue the conversation. Remember, a rising tide lifts all boats. So please share this episode across all your social media platforms. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Tonight, we're going to talk about how to rebuild our confidence that this pandemic has sucked up out of us so we can end 2020 on purpose and go into 2021, you know, feeling encouraged and have our strategies together because we got to, you know, do some mindset shifting. We got to do some pivoting and it starts with rebuilding our confidence. So... If you don't know, okay, on my podcast, the Living Her True podcast for the month of August, every Thursday, I've been reading an excerpt from my book, 31 Days of Truth, Manifest Your Passion, Power, and Perseverance, okay? I've been reading an excerpt from my book, and a new episode dropped today, and so today, I talked about how to build confidence, and so like this is right on time right because we need confidence right now because the pandemic has sucked a lot of our confidence just out because you have people who are being furloughed who's being laid off you know you have people who were unemployed before the pandemic who's you know their their job search has just got even harder and then of course the pandemic has you know (sighs) took a lot of loved ones from us you know Thank God nobody in my family has passed, you know, due to COVID, but there are people that I follow here on social media where their families have been affected by COVID COVID in that way. So, you know, it's just a lot going on, you know, um, with us as a nation, right? And so um, our confidence has taken a beating. Our confidence has taken a beating. So on my podcast, I talked about, you know, how to build confidence and I read directly from my book and I wanted to extend the conversation. Like I want us to continue to, you know, talk about it because we need to rebuild our confidence, guys. We need to rebuild our confidence. Like we were so hyped coming into 2020. Y'all remember that? 2020 vision, the vision going to be clear. People going to be exposed in 2020. Like, don't you remember that? Don't you remember that? Let me know. Put yes in the comments if you remember that. Even if you catch it on the replay. 
you know, put yes in the comments if you remember. Being just so excited to come into 2020, you know, to start a whole new decade. Like, we had all these grand visions and plans on how, you know, the next 10 years is going to be better than the last 10 years. And then all of a sudden, bam, COVID, right? Came out of nowhere. And, you know, it's the end of August, the middle of August. We're coming to the end of August, you know. I remember back in March, April-ish. You know, people thought that by September, the pandemic was going to be a thing of the past, right? That is so not the case. That is so not the case. So now September is here and we're like, yo, we don't know how long this pandemic is going to last. You know, we got the recession literally knocking at our doors and what are we going to do, right? So we're going to talk about rebuilding our confidence because it's so important because there's so many things that we need to do. The plans that we had at the top of the year that we had coming into the year, like we need to pivot and not pause those plans. I still need you guys to go after those plans. So we're going to talk about how to rebuild our confidence. So again, please share this video with people that you know who can use this information, who can use the word, words of encouragement or who has questions because, you know, I'm open, you know, I'm always here to support you guys. So however I can support you, you know, share this video with them so they can come on over and get their questions answered. All right. And let me know, but because I want you to share with at least 10 people. So let me know if you share it with 10 people by putting 10 in the comments. All right. So the first way to really like build our confidence, to rebuild our confidence is to literally take action we build confidence by doing we have to take action we have to take action guys like you build confidence by doing so all of those plans that strategy those goals you know the vision that you had that i just talked about i still need you to take action on those plans right yes there's a pandemic we live in the middle of a pandemic yes you know there's a recession yes people have been you know losing their jobs but there are businesses who are booming right now like you have startups who's able to raise millions if not billions of dollars to start their their business in the pandemic during a recession so whatever plans that you have for 2020 i still need you to take action on those plans i need you to pivot and not pause all right i need you to pivot and not pause like don't use this pandemic as an excuse not to do anything like don't do that right because when you don't do anything you find yourself you know not have accomplished anything at the end of the year and then you even more depressed than what you would have been had you taken action and it just not worked out right but at least if you take action, it doesn't work out. You can at least say, you know, I executed my strategy. It didn't work. So, then, so now let me just tweak some things, right? So I can tweak some things going into 2021. Now, whatever goal that you had at the top of the year, is it possible for you to achieve it by the end of 2020? Yeah, it's possible. But if you need to push back the timeline a few months, six months, that's completely okay. That's okay. Do that. Push it back. But what I don't want you to do is do nothing. Don't just do nothing. So if you were thinking about, you know, changing careers in 2020, then take the action that you need to change your careers, to change your career. Do a little bit more research, you know, be a little bit more um, intentional and calculator, calculate on how you change your career. If, you know, starting a business was something that you wanted to do before the pandemic happened, then still start your business. Still start your business. Like, don't forget, Airbnb, y'all know Airbnb, they launched in August of 2008. Do you remember the recession in 2008? Do you remember how, you know, the housing bubble burst in 2008? And look at Airbnb now. Now, am I saying your business will have that much success? I don't know. Who, who would know? You would. Seven years from now. <laughs> after you just started your business, right? So the way that we build confidence is by taking action. Because the more you do, the more you achieve, 
the more confident you become. And once you start to build that confidence, you're going to want to take more risks. You're going to more, want to do more things. Confidence promotes more action. But it starts with you taking the first step. All right? So that's number one. We build confidence by doing. All right? Number two, we need to start competing with people who don't know that they're in competition with us. Do I need to slow down and say that again? Okay, I'll slow down and say that again. You need to stop competing with people who don't know they're in competition with you. You know what I'm talking about. Ever since this pandemic started, we've been on quarantine. We've been on social media like heavy, 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 right? Like heavy, heavy, we've been on social media. Just scrolling, just scrolling, right? Checking out other people. Checking out other people. Stop comparing yourself to everyone else. Like the people that you're scrolling and, and checking out on social media, stop competing with them. They don't even know you. You like follower 5,129 of their 1.1 million. They don't know you, but you comparing yourself to them and you in competition with them and now you can't keep up. And so now you feeling all bad about yourself. Stop competing with people that don't even know you and don't even know they're in competition with you guys. Like, don't even do it. Like, that's the quickest way of just, like, sucking all of your encouragement and confidence up out of you. It's by competing with other people. So what you can do is evaluate your own reality. You need to evaluate your own reality. Yes, I said it. I'm going to need you. To like sit down, look around, you know, take an honest inventory. Of what's going on in your life, in your world, in your household? Like what's going on? Evaluate your reality. Because I'm, I'm, I'm almost willing to bet that nine times out of ten, it's not as bad as what you think it is. Your situation may not be as bad as you think it is. It's just that when we talk to other people, right? We tend to take on their beliefs, their problems, their challenges, their fears, and then we adopt them as our own. And then next thing you know, we are infected with that negativity. And so now we mad and pissed off of, about everything that's going on. And then in our mind, we have falsified some stuff that doesn't even exist in our world. So we really need to sit down and evaluate our own situation to determine what's true and what's false. And all the falsities that we have made up in our minds, we need to get to the root of that so we can dispel it and get rid of it, right? Because it may not be as bad. And then once we have that clarity, then you can leverage the resources that are at your disposal. Leverage your resources. Like who is in your network that you can reach out to? What organizations in your city, you know, in your state that you could take advantage of that can help you during this time? What resources are out there? Like whatever you do, don't, don't feel like you're less than because you need help. Like don't, don't be that person. Don't be that person who's too afraid to ask for help. Don't be that person. Because these mortgage companies, these car dealerships, I mean, they have these plans in place to help you out for a reason. Leverage your resources. Leverage your resources. If you're somebody who's looking for a job, you know, maybe just waiting for the job sites to send you notifications. Maybe you need to do more to that. Who in your, in your network that you know whether or not it's online or offline, right? Who do you know that possibly know of any new positions that's going on in their company? Do you know how many new positions never get posted to like Indeed or Hot Jobs? I don't even know what are the popular job sites these days. I don't even know what they are. You know how many positions that don't get posted there? You know why? Because people bring in people that they know and fill those positions. So they never get posted. And then you have a small percentage that get posted just because they have to follow HR procedures. But they already got somebody for the position. You guys, you got to use the resources that you have. 
who's in your network, you know, what organizations that's in your city, in your town, in your state that have different resources that you can take advantage of to help you during this time, right? What resources do you have? Because the more help that you have, that's going to build your confidence. That's going to take one less thing off your plate that you have to worry about so you can focus on the task that's in front of you. So you can take action on the goals, you know, and execute the strategy that you had coming into 2020. Because once you take action and you're executing your strategy, then that's going to promote confidence. Because what? We build confidence by doing, right? You see how all of this kind of like ties into each other? You see that? <laughs> Let me know if you see that. <laughs> for those of you who are just joining me on Instagram, thank you so much for joining me on tonight. So tonight we're having a conversation about how to, you know, rebuild our confidence that this pandemic has sucked up out of us on my podcast, the Living Our True Podcast. Every Thursday in this month, I have read a different excerpt from my book, 31 Days of Truth, Manifest Your Passion, Power, and Perseverance. And today I read, um, I think it's day 24 in my book, I read How to Build Confidence. And I wanted to extend the conversation because this is something that's super important that we need to talk about. And so the first tip that I gave is that we build confidence by doing. So all of the, the plans and the strategy and the goals that you had at the top of the year, we need to still, you know, take action, you know, to pursue those particular goals. All right. We need to take action to pursue those particular goals. And then the second tip that I gave is to, you know, stop competing with people who don't even know that they're in competition with you. Hey, Monika. Hey, Malika. Hey, girl. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah. So, those are the two. So, the last tip that I wanted to give to you guys is, you know, you can build confidence by... Doing more service by being generous, serving others is how you can, you know, build confidence. Because when you do more service, right, to spread generosity, when you are, you know, giving of, you know, your, your, your time to people, it just makes you feel better. Serving others always makes you feel better. Right. When you are doing things out the kindness of your heart, it just makes you feel better. And when you feel better, you do better. Right. And you do more. Right. So why not put yourself in a state of, you know, pure happiness, pure joy by just serving other people? Because number one, that puts you in the mindset of gratitude. Right. So you can just be grateful for what it is that that you have. Right. Currently. Right. And, and I've never known anybody to, you know, be of service to someone else and just walk away feeling worse than what they did before they started service. Have you let me know? <laughs> let me know, because maybe I'm out of it. I don't know. But you let me know. Family on, on Instagram, those of you who just joined, I'm looking down because I am live on Facebook for the first time in many, many months. <laughs> and I'm super excited about it. So let's practice more service in order to, you know, promote more generosity so we can do more, right? Because it's going to put us in this feel-good mode so we can do more. And plus, being of service every day, you are literally giving God something to bless. You know, one of my favorite financial coaches, her name is Patrice Washington. Y'all heard about Patrice Washington. Y'all, I talk about the Redefining Wealth podcast all the time. I had her, you know, as a guest on my podcast, episode number three. Um, we talked about purpose. Um, if you go to LakeishaWooder.com forward slash links, you can get connected to the podcast where you can check out that episode. But I love Patrice, um, and you would too, so follow her on Instagram if you haven't already. But Patrice says all the time that we have to give God something to bless, right? So when you are being of service to someone else, you're giving God something to bless. 
giving him something to bless doesn't necessarily mean, you know, showing up for your job. It doesn't necessarily mean getting up and working in your business. Yeah, you can do those things too. But what about being of service to somebody else? Volunteering, you know, at a community event or volunteering at your, you know, your local nonprofit that you absolutely love. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you give? you know, of your time. And when you do that, you're giving God something to bless because you never know who is watching you that has the power to bless you. Like that's something else that Patrice says all the time. So you never know you getting out and being of service can put you in the same room as somebody else who can actually bless you. Right? And anytime you receive a blessing, that definitely builds your confidence, right? And then that's going to make you want to do more, right? Now, I'm not saying do service just to get out there. Yes, generosity is a booster. Thank you. It is. Now, I'm not saying just get out there and just do things for the sake of, you know, well, let me do this so I can get this in return. Like, I mean, you know, don't be sleazy with it. But I, all I'm just saying is, is that when you are doing good and you putting good out in the world, it's going to be recognized and then it's going to come back on you tenfold. That's what I'm saying. So definitely do something that you absolutely love and it should be from your heart. Like don't do anything begrudgingly. Like don't do that. God doesn't, doesn't like a begrudging giver. Does that make sense? Let me know that, if that makes sense. So you guys, yeah, I just wanted to come on. So tell me, let me do a pulse check. How are you guys doing during this pandemic? Let me know in the comments. How are you doing in this pandemic? Has, you know, your confidence taken a hit? If so, how? Like, what are some of the things that you're doing to boost your confidence? You know, um... For the month of August, I talked about a little bit on my Instagram, and I think here on Facebook too, in a previous post, I talked about some things that, you know, that I was going to do for the month of August just to help me to mentally recalibrate, you know, um, to prepare for the last three months of the year. Because I don't know about you, but I plan to end this year with a bang. Like, yeah, a whole bunch of ish went on and happened. You know, during these last few months, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the end of my year has to end on a sour note. So I'm going to do the work now to prepare so I can end this year with purpose and go into 2021, you know, just ready to face whatever it is that's coming for me in 2021. The pandemic is mentally challenging. It is mentally challenging. You're absolutely right. You know, on my podcast, Live Her Truth Podcast, you can go to, you know, LakeishaWitter.com forward slash podcast to check out the episodes or click the link or check out the link that's pinned um, here on Instagram. I think it's in the comment section here on Facebook to get to my podcast. And of course, you can check it out on your favorite podcast episode. But I did an episode on how to take a mental sabbatical during the pandemic, during social distancing. I give you tips on how to take a mental sabbatical and why it's important to take a mental sabbatical, even while social distancing, right? Because it's mentally challenging. So much has gone on within the last few months. So much has gone on. And not just in our household not just in our neighborhoods, not just in our city, our state, you know, and not just in this country, across the world, right? Like, when, ha when was the last time this happened where the whole world is affected at one time? It's been a while, right? Yes, please do. Please check it out. Desalyn, Jaquias, thank you so much for joining. If I butcher your name, sis, I'm sorry. Let me know how to pronounce your name. So definitely, you know, check it out. And then also on the podcast, for those of you who, you know, just tuning in, every Thursday in the month of August, I've read a different excerpt from my book, 31 Days of Truth, Manifest Your Passion, Power, and Perseverance. And today I talked about how to build confidence, right? So my book is one of the ways, one of the things that I'm doing 
you know, this month to prepare so I can mentally prepare for the last three months of my year because I want 2020 to end with a bang. So I'm reading my book and instead of reading it from day one to day 31, I'm just spot reading depending on what it is that I'm going through for the day, depending on how I'm feeling for that particular day. Hey, from Hawaii. Thank you so much for joining me. Girl, you got me hyped and excited over here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, sis. But um, depending on how I'm feeling for the day, you know, what's going on in my world, I go to that particular day in my book that's, you know, best best represents how I'm feeling and I read that particular day and then at the end of each day you have a moment of truth where you actually write down what the truth you know meant for you that day and what you're going to do to take action I did this on purpose because I don't want you to just read what I wrote I want you to take action like I want it to stick and normally when you read something and then you know write notes behind it or whatever it tends to stick and once it stick you tend to take action you like how I snuck that in on y'all so my book is literally it's like a journal it's like a 31 day journal and it's one of those books that you can read like over and over and over again so books is a way to mentally you know recalibrate you know during this pandemic Right now, I'm in the book club reading The Four Agreements. That's a really good book to, to like listen to right now because I'm addicted to Audible. So I've been listening to it on Audible. That's a really good book that you can um, listen to right now to kind of help you, you know, mentally. Sorry about that, Instagram. To help you mentally recalibrate during this pandemic. And if you go to LakeishaWitter.com forward slash links, you can click on my audible recommendations so you can get the book from there. All right. Um, what else am I doing to like mentally uh, recalibrate? It's, you know, you guys, I've been really getting into essential oils. I've been diffusing essential oils a lot just to help with um, stress. These two, this is peppermint and rosemary. Whenever I need to do something that's like difficult, whether that's having a difficult conversation, which is what I talked about, you know, not too long ago. Um, difficult conversations. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be difficult, like, in a bad way. You know, in my business, like, my business is, like, pivoting in such a different direction than what I planned for it to go. That is scary. Pivots can be scary. And sometimes you need, you know, just that confidence boost you know, to like hit send on the email. You know what I'm saying? And so I diffuse these particular oils because it helps to build confidence. And then Stress Away is another one that I got from Young Living. So I've really been getting into, slowly getting into essential oils. So that's something else that you can do um, to kind of like mentally decompress, if you will. Right, and I give more. Um, I give more tips on my podcast, so you definitely want to check out my podcast. Ah, oh, thank you, sis. Thank you, sis. Thank you. I really appreciate you jump, um, jumping on, jumping on. Hey, Randy. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, rosemary and peppermint. Mm-hmm. Rosemary and peppermint, and I do. I don't know how many drops that I do, but I do less peppermint drops than rosemary. So I would probably do maybe four or five drops of rosemary and maybe like three drops of peppermint in the diffuser. I guess it just depends on how strong you, you want it because the peppermint can get really, really strong. It can get really, really strong. So for you guys who just popping in, because my boy Randy just joined us tonight, we're talking about how to rebuild our confidence that this pandemic has sucked up out of us. So you can take back control of 2020 and go into 2021 with confidence and operate in our purpose. And so on my podcast, you know, the Living Our True podcast, I read an excerpt from my book, um, Day 24, which is how to build confidence. And I wanted to extend the conversation Um Tonight, because confidence, like we need a confidence boost right now because the pandemic, between the pandemic, you know, and the recession, like people are just not 
feeling themselves right now. It's a lot going on. You grow mint? Yes. Peppermint is like really, really strong. It's really strong. And I also have lavender too. That's another good one to just kind of like, sorry with the lint, with the light, but it's lavender. It's really good for uh, relieving stress, relieving stress as well. So I wanted to extend the conversation and earlier um, today I talked about, you know, how we can build confidence by doing. So whatever goals, you know, plans and strategy you had at the top of the year, it's still time to take action on it. Now, it may not, you may not achieve it in 2020, but that's okay because 2021 is right around the corner, right? But just do action because we build confidence by doing action. Another tip that I talked about is, you know, um, stop being in competition and stop competing with people who don't know they're in competition with you. Like, why are we doing that? Right? We constantly scrolling on social media. It's gotten even worse, you know, while being in quarantine, right? And we're literally comparing ourselves and competing with people that don't even know us. And we are taking on, you know, negative beliefs, you know, challenges, issues, and problems of other people. And we're adopting them and making it our reality. And then we are falsifying things in our head and making our situation worse than what it really is. Right. And the last thing, you know, for building confidence is just to do more service so you can show generosity. Because when you are being generous to other people, that makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. When you do good, you take more action. And when you take more action, what does it do? What does it do? Builds confidence. Right. Right, 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 right. It builds confidence. <laughs> 